How's it going guys? CNR724 here. Today we are comparing a 1954 SKS and a Russian letter series SKS from 1957. Did you know the SKS not only played a pivotal role in the transition from bolt action rifles to automatic battle rifles during the Cold War, but it also had a significant influence on the development of intermediate cartridges. As you can see today, my cat decided to join me for the video. He see his little tail. Um, we're gonna start with the 1954 SKS, which is up top here. Sorry. We begin with the 1954 SKS, born in 1945. The tool arsenal commenced production in 1945. It wasn't until 1952 that chrome barreling was introduced. This was introduced to enhance the rifle's durability, ease of cleaning. Built on a beautiful Arctic birch stock featuring a 10 round internal magazine. The SKS is a simple and reliable rifle that holds a crucial place in the evolution of modern firearms. Now for the letter series. The Russian letter series SKS was only manufactured from 1956 to 1958. From what I understand, there is slightly more rare SKS. The series emerged at the end of the Russians SKS production. I believe it was to prepare the tooling to be given to the Chinese. Please comment below if I'm incorrect about that. You can see an Arsenal refurbished mark in the stock here. Prior to the letter series, SKS rifles from 1949 to 1955 had the year of production and the factory arsenal stamped on the top of the receiver cover. As you can see, this one just has an arsenal refurbished mark. Some of the distinguishing features of a Russian letter series SKS to a regular Russian SKS would be the letter series has a completely blank receiver cover, only a marking for uh, if it was arsenally refurbished. Another unique trait of the letter series is the small star stamped on the side, indicating it's a tool arsenal. You can see the importer marking there. The stock. Beautiful arctic birch. You can tell it's been replaced. Sometimes they're a laminate. You can tell if they're a laminate. This would have all perfect lines running straight across the top there. Look at those strange little markings. Yeah, but easy to tell a laminate stock. It literally looks like plywood. It's pressed together. A bunch of layers of wood pressed together. As you can see, the normal SKS, no star on the side, markings on the receiver cover. Concluding our comparison of the Russian letter series, these rifles hold an interesting part of history. The lack of markings on the receiver, the distinctive star on the side, the beautiful birch stock, these rifles are a gorgeous piece of history, and if you can afford to pick one up, I definitely recommend it. It's my favorite thing to bring out to the range. This one has never been shot and will stay that way. This one on top is the shooter. The SKS really played a big role in the evolution of modern firearms. As a bonus, let's touch on the history of the AK-47. In 1947, the AK-47 was put into production. 
firing the same 762 by 39 cartridge as the SKS. The first years of production of the AK-47 had some issues. Notably, the receiver's sheet metal was thin. The thin sheet metal used on the first AK-47s, also known as the Type 1s, would overheat and it would warp. These challenges were fixed in uh, 1952 when the Type 2 AK-47 came out with a milled receiver more along the lines of something construction like this. It's literally too black. You can't even see it. You get this one probably. There we go. Milled. Solid from a chunk milled out. So the milled receiver worked out for them. And that pushed the SKS to second line service to be used for ceremonial purposes, police use, etc. If you uh, if you guys want to see a more in-depth video on the AK-47, I could do a video on the history of that. Drop a comment below if you'd like to see that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. It really helps me out. Uh, you guys have been super supportive recently. I really can't thank you guys enough. We hit 500 subscribers. It's really amazing. Thank you guys. Uh, keep doing what you're doing. I'll keep doing what I'm doing. Uh, more military surplus rifles to come. Videos to come. Uh, and I'm keeping my word. I said 500 subs. We get an Enfield. We got an Enfield. I think you boys are going to like it. Stay safe.